What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Outs TV. It's your boy, Jai. Let's talk about it. So, Casanova took to Instagram on Sunday, stating that if the higher ups was to look into his case, he would have been home already. Y'all know who he's talking about, right? He's talking about the people that he was dancing around like a monkey with at the breakfast brunch. In the video, um, damn, damn. It was a Jim Jones video. I can't think of it. If y'all know of it, let me know in the comment section. It was a video when Jim Jones first got signed to Rock Nation. And they had the breakfast brunch. And they had Swiss Beats, DJ Khaled. They had Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? They had a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of movers and shakers, you know what I'm saying, was at the breakfast brunch. And, um, you know what I'm saying, Casanova was there, you know, because he's a part of Rock Nation. He's signed to Rock Nation. And now that he's in this situation, he's caught up in this racketeering case, 18 members of the Gorilla Stone Nation. Now he's crying out for help because he's talking about, he took to Instagram on Sunday to explain to people you know, his fans, that he burnt out all his money on legal fees. You know what I'm saying? And now he doesn't have anything. And he wants to reach out to Jay-Z, Swiss Beats, DJ Cali. Now, he didn't say their name, but if you've been paying a close attention to the situation, you know who he's talking about. He's talking about the higher ups. Those are the movers and shakers in the game, man. And, um... You know what I'm saying? Nobody won't help him out. So now he's, you know, he he wrote a post on Instagram talking about, yo, he feels defeated. You know, he, I, like, when niggas start talking like that, man, like, it look like he gonna start running his mouth, man. Because even though Casanova's well-respected and he's a gangster, whatever the case may be, like, he want to see his daughter, you know what I mean? Like, he, he want to he wanna see his daughter grow up, you know what I'm saying, to a beautiful young lady. Like, he he, he, he don't want his girl, his, his wife, he jazzy, to, to fuck with another nigga. Because that's what's going to end up happening when he got to sit up and do them football numbers, God forbid. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he don't got to do no football numbers, but you got to understand something, bro. You know that they was gonna use Casanova. You know they was gonna use your prior rap sheet against you if you got yourself caught up in a situation. You worked so hard to get to the point now where you throw the shit all away because you was trying to prove your loyalty to a gang. Now look at you. You do all your you do your career away. You had got a second chance at life. Soon as you came home, you worked hard. You know what I'm saying? You stayed you stayed the fuck about the way. You know what I'm saying? You started perfecting your craft as a rapper. You started taking the shit seriously. You started dropping a few bangers. You know what I mean? And you got your buzz and you got signed and you got your big break. You had the chance you, you had the you had an opportunity like to just change your fucking ways, man. Like you was traveling, you was around all these A-list superstar celebrities in the rap game, like, niggas that come from where you come from, Casanova, they don't get a break like that. You had your big break and you blew it. You threw it all the fucking way because you was looking for street credibility, man, when you already had proven yourself. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know your bop already. You don't have to prove yourself. You should have been moving like a boss, man. And you didn't move right. You was around Jay-Z, bro. You know how hard it is to get next to Jay-Z? Ask Jay to, ask, ask all these other niggas. Ask Beanie Siegel and all these other niggas when they had a situation, how hard it was to get next to him. And you got to see a third party. You got to see this person. You got to see like five or six people before you can get next to Jay-Z. And you was right in his presence going to breakfast brunches, man. Come on, man. I'd rather deal, I'd rather fuck with Hove, man, than to be in the hood, man. Wilding and, and, and adding more cases to your profile, man. That's all you doing, man. You giving him a reason to lock you up and throw away the key on you, man. All right, come on. Ain't you a predicate, man? 
You know what I'm saying? You got more than one felony, bro. Like, I don't know, man, but uh, you got to do them long football numbers. I already know, man. Jazzy, man, women get lonely. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, they only that loyalty is only going to stretch for so far, man. Says he'd be free already if one of the higher ups really made someone look into his case. Casanova took to Instagram on Sunday to maintain his innocence in the racketeering case that's had him locked up since December of 2020. If one of the higher ups really made someone look into my case, I'd be home right now, Casanova wrote on his Instagram stories. Look. Go Casanova right here. That's his Instagram post from yesterday. Let me continue on reading for y'all. As previously reported, Casanova surrendered himself to authorities last December for his alleged connection to a gang-related crimes, including a racketeering case. He pleaded not guilty to the charges of conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to distribute controlled substance, and firearms possessions and is awaiting trial. Cass was one of 18 alleged gang members who were indicted on the aforementioned criminal charges. He is currently being housed in the Westchester County Jail. Casanova's latest remark arrived just a few months after he asked fans for help in proving his innocence. And a message posted by Cass' manager on his behalf in October the Brooklyn rapper wrote, This is a public service announcement to all my fans and very important friends. I've been incarcerated for almost one year now, exhausted on all remedies spent. And, and I, he said, exhausted on all remedies and spent a significant amount of money on legal fees to prove my innocence. The charges against me are false. They represent, they don't, he said, they don't represent or reflect the person that I am. They are simply using my past criminal history to crucify. Hold on, there's another picture of him too. This is him on a on a on a video call. I guess he was on a video call with um with his girlfriend Jazzy. But yeah, man. He look like he he's in I mean from a physical standpoint, shit. He look like he's taking care of himself, man. You know what I'm saying? He on his workout shit. Cash. He look like he was strong on something for real. You know what I'm saying? Look like he putting in a lot of pain and on the body, man, behind that G-Wall, man. But um, shout out to Cash, man. Salute. You know what I mean? Hopefully he could get... I mean, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? He could get a good lawyer or, you know, an investigator to look into this matter for him, man. But until next time, man, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your boy, Call Outs TV. We got more content on the way.